The Islanders coming off a home and home with the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. The game at home, the Islanders, I think, maybe looked at the goaltending stats of the Eagles and thought it may have been a relatively easy night, but Kevin Mandelize probably had be his best start of the season for Cape Breton. He stoned the Islanders time and time again and got the start two nights later in Cape Breton only to allow the first two goals in. And for the Islanders, the offense really kicked in in that game. I know it wasn't a pretty hockey game. It was very sloppy at times, but for a team that has continued to struggle to score goals and has relied on tight goaltending and excellent defense, it was... A breath of fresh air to score eight in Cape Breton and not an easy rink to do it in. Coming up this week, the Islanders in Moncton on Saturday night before returning home to take on the St. John Sea Dogs. So the Islanders right now 9-2 and two in their last 11 games. Probably the most surprising team in the Quebec League. A lot of people pencil them to be bottom feeders. This team has a work ethic that I haven't seen in 15 years here in Charlottetown. And pleasure to watch. Not a whole lot of star power, but they come with their work boots and hard hats every game. Credit has to go to the coaching staff. I think teams are taking notice of some of the players on the Islanders and realizing they could help their team as well.